Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Bill. This is Yo-Yo Tech. And today I want to start something off. It is my son's birthday and it seemed like a perfect time to introduce the home automation tip of the day. So stay tuned for the first one. So guys, with home automation, there is definitely a focus on making sure that your automations run properly. You wanna make sure that if timers are running, they run at the right time. If motion sensors run, they do what they need to do. But one of the things that we often forget about are the exceptions or the times when you don't want things to run. And this can leave you left scrambling. As I mentioned, today we're having a party and over the weekend we're having friends and guests over. And there's certain automations that I wanna make sure don't run. For example, I don't want all my lights to turn off automatically. I don't want my lights to turn off at 11 o'clock and leave us sitting in the, the backyard in the dark. So what I have done, and one of the things I have developed around my home automation is virtual switches to actually shut off my automations. Um, and this takes a little bit of planning, a little bit of thinking, but it's essentially really easy to do. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples that I have done in OpenHab that are really simple. Create a virtual switch, which you set up, and these are nothing but switches that control nothing at all. And then you simply set up some if statements around all of your automation rules to say, if the override switch is on, then don't run the automation. But if the switch is off, which is its normal state, then the automations all run like regular. This way, when you have people over, you can simply go in and choose to turn on or off specific automations without having to open up code, hack things up, make things not work. I even have a special rule in my system that will turn these automations off at a, or back off at a specific time. So that at two o'clock every night, it will reset some of these ones, ones that I know would only be turned off for a party or on a daily basis and put everything back to normal. So it's a simple little tip that you can do, but it's something you should think about when you're planning your home automation. So if we look into the, if we look into my files here, I'm going to show you the config file first. And essentially in my items file, I've set up a bunch of virtual switches and you can see them here. And um, each one of these represent different things that I want to do. And ultimately you can have as many as you want to have. And probably the more the better because it's easy to set it up and be able to shut things off uh, as you go. Sometimes I even set up multiple switches or I group them together so that I can turn all my automation lighting on or off at the same time. Now if we jump over to another one of my lighting files here we can see that what I've done is simply just wrapped all of the code in an if statement that says if this switch is on then don't do anything. So essentially what it does is it just ignores whatever I may have in between. It makes it really simple to just turn that stuff off. So guys, that's it. Um, really quick tip today. I wanted to make it a, a, a quick thing. I've been thinking of making this a series. So if you like this tip, you want to hear more tips like this, definitely please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if there's something that you would think is a good option or something I should look at, or you have a tip or a suggestion of your own, leave it in the comments. I mean, this is a community and we can all learn from each other. Guys, that's it. Have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to be back with some fresh new videos next week. We'll see you then.